Uh, another question is, um, what makes your vaccine candidates different from the other type, types which are also in the pipeline? Uh, because obviously you know there are a lot of candidates in the world, American, British, uh, German, and, and Chinese. Uh, why your vaccines can come out on, on top, if you believe that well, is the case? Well, uh, I think everybody develop a vaccine based on their strength, right? Uh, how good they are at that certain type of technology. But I think if you look uh, you know, overall, we always say there are five technologies, uh, uh, platforms to develop the COVID-19. So inactivate, uh, life attenuated, and the uh, viral vector, and the DNA, Which is MRA, yours. yes. Um, if you look at the vaccine type, all those are, except the DNA and the MRA vaccine, all others already have product on the market, you know, one way or another. Uh, there are advantages and disadvantages of each type of vaccines. So for subunit vaccine, there's a protein. Uh, you need adjuvant. You have to have a potent adjuvant to go with it. It takes time to really figure out and match these uh, antigens and uh, adjuvants. It may also change the forms um, in, in one way or another. And for live attenuated vaccines, you need actually cultivate the virus for a long time to get a non-pathogenic virus. So that's why you don't see a live attenuated uh, vaccine for COVID-19 because, yeah. you know, it takes are, too long. takes too long, yes. But you do see a subunit. And the mRNA is a new technology, which actually I think is an uh, important technology platform we should pay attention to. However, because it's too new, there was no really product onto the market yet. Yeah. No president, so. No, yeah, right. 